All right, so we continue down the path, if you'd like. Uh, down to the crash? Is it over here? I think it's over here. Basically, we want to go this way, right? North, Rosy Morn Monastery. West, Moonrise Towers. North, Rosy Morn <laughs> Monastery. West, Moonrise Towers. I think, I think we want to head... Moonrise Towers. Uh, no, no, we want to head up. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? A collapsed burrow. Okay, there's a... Uh, you got the, okay, you got the balsam. I think it was balsam. Yeah. I try to pick pick up the crafting stuff whenever I see it. There's a bear. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. Are you hearing this? Do you hear what it, do you hear what I hear? Oh. If I mouse over there, yeah, it looks like there is. It sounds like a bear or something over there. Doesn't it? I mean, we just took on two death shepherds and a ghast. I'm not too worried about bear. Where is the bear? I think it's down somewhere. All right, I'm gonna go down this hill. Uh, I know that there's like a there's like a skyway thing here, like a what you call it that we're supposed to probably take. Maybe not. Well, I'm gonna try to. Are you going to try the cable car? I am. Try to see if I can roll above a 15. I got a plus four on my strength. Oh, yeah, I totally did that. You want 11. Would you like, <laughs> would you like Angela to try? <laughs> she won't be able to do it. That was tough. He's contemplating you. No, we got it. So that leads down to the Get the Yankee Crash, right? Yeah, so you can take this to make it down to the other station or you can take the long windy path and walk it do we want to take the long windy path and walk it i, I think we want to take the I'm, long windy path and walk it i'm fine with that uh, I, I mean don't we want to go on an adventure besides i saw there's a chest down here yeah i'm, I'm more of the i like to uncover the entire map so i typically don't take shortcuts yeah um but i don't want to like force that upon you if you want to do something do you think there's a trap here I'm going to risk it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, arrow of Ilmater. Ilmatar. Ilmater. Okay. And then Potion of Healing. So. Not exactly what I would call uh, spectacular. Empty Potion Bottle. Uh, there's a red apple. I'm going to grab that. But there's there's arrows. There's a... Uh, a bear. A bear. It's down here. That bear's freaking me out, Red. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just telling you. All right, are we going down, 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 down to the bear's desire? The bear's desire. We're, we're probably going down. I'm, I'm going down. Look at me go. Woo! I, look at that dexterity that I've got. Did yeah. you see that? <laughs> she's zippy. I don't know if it's in my head or what, but she feels like she's more zippy and, and performant. <laughs> like she's been sort of souped up a bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> she, she, she's had a Red Bull. <laughs> she's got wings. <laughs> okay, that bear. Someone doesn't like visitors. Oh! Repulsion mine. I think the idea behind it is it will knock you off the edge. It's repulsive. Uh, if it I knocks you off, you die, right? Like if you got knocked down there, I think you'd die. I think so. Um, I critically failed. We only have one inspiration. Should we'll I just blow it up? Happens. Okay, so that's one way to trigger it. You just simply walked into it, didn't you? No, I fa I failed to disarm it, so it triggered. Ooh. Which is fine because it luckily did not knock anybody off. But it looks like we have more of them. Do you want me to? Can I? Where is the other one? I don't see it. Don't know. Be careful. Okay, back up, back up, back up, 
Okay. You know what? I'm just going to use a... Uh... I mean, does that not work? It works. I think that... There's a... That worked out pretty well. Birdie! There's a blue jay! Birdie. There's going to be more. Okay. I think we're doing good. I think we're... There's like a whole bunch of... There's a key. You see that? Yep. The birdie has a key. Shall I talk to the birdie? Should I talk? No, no. I have to yeah. do animal uh, uh, talking potion. I've got one. Yep. Uh, we can get more. Yep. All right. I'm going to talk to this blue jay. And if you remember correctly, the last time I talked to a blue jay, it was they were very... Um, Random. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. Uh, did someone steal something from you? Steal? Eagles are bigger. They just take. Oh. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. Poor guy. He's all sad because an eagle stole his stuff. Okay. I can't help yeah, but he's, no he's mm -hmm. He's not going to hold up against an eagle. No, he's he's kind of small. Um, I can't help but notice that you have a nest right there. Oh, sure, a nest. But it's not my nest. <laughs> That's up on the roof with the eagles. Eagles are pricks. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we, you want to go fight an eagle? No, that's, I'm fine. I uh, can, we can, we can mm -hmm. I mean... I'm the murder clown. Let's let let's let's kill everything we can. I can fight the eagles and get your nest back. Why the roof? Wait, if so, if that's not your nest, whose is it? How about that? Ah, some could... poor little tit who wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you stole it. You stole the nest from somebody else. That's the that's the the cycle <laughs> of pain, right? Like you know, the pain comes from the eagle down to him, and then he passes it down to the poor little tit. Was it a blue tail oh, or is so it hmm? what? I'm not seeing what you're seeing. I didn't set it to be private. No, no, no. Um, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm in the dialogue. He said, "See, how it says some poor little tit who wasn't paying attention." I'm not see. I'm seeing different dialogue options than you are. What does it say? Try hitting number. So I, the options I have is, number one, so eagles are pricks for stealing a nest, but you're not. Number two is deception. I'm here to avenge the bird you kicked out. And so try hitting three again. See if it if it takes you. Nope, it was broken. Don't you have anything better to do than bother me? <laughs> I suppose I could turn you into dinner. I don't... I, I guess we lost whatever opportunity there was. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess... You know, see what happens with number one. No! Not again! Oh, I only just finished making nest number two! <laughs> okay, he's gone. So, I'm, I mean, I felt bad for him until I heard that he basically... Uh, oh, if I, if I take from this nest, it's stealing. Yeah. What's the bird going to do? Yeah, I don't know. It's a gold necklace. I, Wait a minute. Where's the key? Uh, hold down alt. There's a pair. There's a bear claw. Yeah. If you hold down alt and click on the placard there for key, it should try to pick it up. Okay, I got the key. Hang on a sec. What is the key? Let's take a look. Uh, latest. Oh, it's not here. It's probably in. in it's probably in your key bag. In my what? There's a little bag in there that stores all your keys. Oh. Uh... Spell book, alchemy, it's lithid powers. I think, I think if you... Um, yeah, i got to change how I sort. Um, sort by type. type. Yeah, I think you're right. Sort by type. It's usually at the top. Alchemy, alchemy, backpack, backpack, backpack. Camp supply. Oh, wait a minute. A keychain. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, now I can sort this by latest. And we. it's a key. It's a small <laughs> iron key. So we don't have a lot of information. Presumably, it's going to allow us to get into something at some point, right? Yeah, 
Positionally. The J, a J is like a, they're they're little thieves. They like uh, they're like magpies. They like to steal shiny things. So. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed that um, that the the dialogue bugged out like that. I mean, I'm not happy about it either. Uh, but what am I gonna do, right? Like, where's that? Yeah, I don't think. We don't have a save that's anywhere near this. So. No, I don't think we want to. No, no, no. But, uh, but you may just want to do a quick save just for the heck of it. <laughs> Are you saying that something's going to happen? Well, the dialogue got messed up. Who knows if something's going to happen? There's berries over here. I'm going to go get those berries. Uh... Okay. It. What is that down there? I guess we have to jump across. It seems that way. If we jump down there, are we going to be able to get back? Because that doesn't look like a returnable thing. Uh, we can fast travel or we can take the cable car. I swear I can jump farther than I used to. Maybe it's because it's down. Oh, no, you can. It, it increases your jump distance by 1.5 meters. Ooh. Your, uh, your armor. I'm feeling uh I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this armor. It has paid off already. And uh <laughs> I'm feeling very special and um you know Rosy Morn uh monastery. So this is the this is where the actually Here we go. signpost says North Rosy Morn Monastery. Okay. So we it's that way. It the signpost says so. What's up what's up the hill here? There's like a little um mm -hmm. There's a survival failed over where I am. So if you can... Where are maybe. you? Hang on. Oh, I, you know that doesn't... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Sometimes I'm coming. I'm coming. You mean next to this animal carcass? All right, well, <laughs> whatever it is, we're not going to be... We'd have to get uh, Shadowheart, I think. She seems to do really well with her survival checks. <laughs> Rosy Morn has, Monastery. Hmm? She has to be good at something. <laughs> I get called out for being um, hard on her, you know. <laughs> She's like, yay! <laughs> um, yeah, but that's okay. So, yeah, who's... <laughs> What are they calling you? Or what are, the, what are people saying? Oh, nothing. It's it's all in good fun. It's all in jest. It's basically like, you know, you, you side with Lizelle, um, right? Who's who's basically mean and, you know, says, and yet, uh, but and my, my response is essentially that, well, I, I mean, I don't like either Shadowheart or Lizelle, really. I like Carlac. <laughs> Carlac to me is awesome. She's my... Uh, yeah, I was just... I was just kind of curious what people's um, oh, it was just it's just kind of concerns were no, it's not, not not out of like not calling out really, just just like hey, you know, you make fun of so you know so and so, but yeah, um, oh, there's um there's a bunch of stuff over here, potion of yeah, greater healing, was it, uh, pill it wasn't something where I like was was gonna be frustrated or upset. I was just kind of curious what people were saying. Oh, I know, I know, I know. What's pilgrim's curse? I'm gonna cr oh, I'll grab it. Okay. Uh, and there's an elixir the uh, greater uh, elixir of arc greater elixir of arcane cultivation. What? I mean, I don't mind cultivating some arcanity. Okay. Um, you're over here. I'm gonna take a look at some of this stuff. Hang on a sec. Yeah, go for it. Got to go back to latest, and I've got a pilgrim's prayer. So this is presumably because of the monastery. P pilgrims heading to the monastery. So dear morning lord, uh, and you are dear you are a dearie. I haven't I just had the grandest time. Sure, if I was honey, I wouldn't have trouble getting it down the hill. So warm and good I feel. I, I've been headed here to pay your hum you homage and beyond on other business for some two odd months, and every mile has unearthed more and more kindness. What the what is this? <laughs> It's weird. It's like all cheery and I don't know. 
For example, when my sleeping roll was infested with bed bugs, itching me disagreeably, morning lord, I have no qualms admitting it. A woman gave me a spare of hers, and it was toasty warming of a night. And a, t a toasty warming of a night. And she with two children of her own to tend. What? Oh my goodness. Anyway, thanks for pouring your honey heat over each and every day, cloudy or no, here for a lone woman, barefoot and smiling on the long road. Okay, so it's just basically random stuff. Uh, and here's another pilgrim's prayer. Uh, good morning, Lathander. I suppose of all mornings, for you are good. You, you, uh, you making them up out of all the bright bits of night and getting them shiny, shine worthy and such. I have two new boys, Luke and Elliot. And oh, this is probably the, the lady that the, she put ever. And I should like them to see lots of your nice sunups. So if you would watch over them, I would be most thankful. I am poor as muck, but have some heart left to give. That which has not been eaten up by the boys and their mum. So that bit is yours. Uh, if you keep uh, if you keep them seeing sunrise, thanks, Harrison Fields. Okay, and Pilgrim's Curse. Morning, Lord. You never rose up over nothing. You're just a f <laughs> an effing sham. Like all gods, dirty, stupid animals. All of you, rotten pigs, rotten pigs. Wee, wee. You ain't got <laughs> uh, uh, ish on the absolute. It's beautiful. It's going to F you up like the cheapest whore. <laughs> so I was a bit disappointed. Apparently, they found the absolute, and now they don't like the uh, the guy, the, the thingamabobber. That was that was interesting. I, I, I think Lathander may have let that one down. I think that Le, I think Lathander is uh, yeah disappointed. <laughs> Does that look like a, a a little thing you stand on? Oh, I see. It's for turning. Oh, this is the other end of the thingamabobber. It is. I pulled the cable car down just in case we wanted to use it. Make a fast getaway. Okay, well, we Something want to go down nature. the hill, right? <laughs> yeah, we can continue down. Um, I hear the bear off to the right. There's like a, a little, there's a cart <laughs> destroyed. Oh, an open crate. I wonder if the bear isn't actually there. They're just putting the sounds in to screw with you. Uh, I would not. Why? Hey, wait a minute. Why were there traps? Who put the traps down? I'm guessing the Dick Yankee. I, I'm, I'm wondering. Okay, this is the way we came, right? We jumped down there. Yeah. We've already been all through here. Okay. Okay. All right. Never mind. Um, we want to go this way. There's another, uh, there's another, uh, whatchamacallit over there, waypoint. There's supplies. Uh, the way that you're sort of standing there, okay, it makes me worry. <laughs> no, I've, um, once we get this waypoint, it might not be a bad idea to do another save. I'm starting to get, um, paranoid this is going to break. <laughs> He's trying to think maybe that might, things might go sideways. Um, no, just that the game is going to have a problem. Okay, so this I, there's an ancient sigil here, right? Um, uh, we already know about it. It's on the map. We can go to it any time. We can. Well, I don't remember. I guess it happened when we didn't see it directly. All right, uh, you want to save? I'll do it. That quick, might have. I'll do a quick save. Actually, uh, yeah, let's do a quick save. All right. Yeah, um, that that, that desync on the um, on the the text or on, on dialogue it has me like paranoid. We're gonna have a tech issue here shortly. Okay, I'm gonna load the uh, quick save that I just did. Ready? Yeah, go for it. We're just gonna do a bit of a refresh. A little freshy, freshy. We'll refresh. No, they, nobody was, nobody, it wasn't, it wasn't bad or anything. It's just, you know how I kind of, uh, give, uh, Channel Heart a hard time, right? 
Yeah. No, no. They're just, they're just folks standing up These for Shadow. have seen everything. You know. <laughs> it, it, there's nothing wrong with that. There's, By the way, there's water here. Just in case you didn't know there's water. Okay. What was that? We, we just got, got an auto save. Got enemies on the minimap. There's a cobalt looter. Interesting. Why would there be... Wait, wait, wait. How, why would the Gith Yankee put up with kobolds? They may not see him as a threat. But they may see him as useful for maybe keeping people out or messing with other people that might be coming up. Uh-huh. I see the kobolds. Oh. What is going on over there? Is that a Gith Yankee? Hang on a sec. Uh, I'm just gonna come around to this corner. Oh, oh, we got we got a cutscene. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it, and we don't know shit about it. Silence. Move. No. No, 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 I'm not coming in there. I won't. Is that a gnome or a dwarf? I think it's a gnome. <laughs> oh, you jerk! Anyone want to join her? Yeah, you can join her. As I thought. Through the doors. Now. You know, I'm kind of not too upset about that because the lady that just got killed she was wearing an absolute Forward, carefully. pendant. Oh! These have the crash on high alert. Okay. So they were a cultist. Where's that dead body over there? Corliss! Do I... Wait a minute. Do you recognize the name Corliss? I don't. Hmm. All right, I'm going to check out her body. But, so the Gith Yankee aren't fond of the cultists. Uh, the just Gith leather armor. <clears throat> and yeah, there's the, dialogue the that, that said, so the Gith Yankee aren't f fond of the cultists. That could be a good thing. What's that? Yeah, so for for me, I'm thinking Corliss, is that possibly similar to one of the names of the deep gnomes that we found in... Um, I, I think so. Uh, the the Grimdark? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what or it Grimforge. is. I think you're right. I'm not seeing anything interesting here. Uh, there's What's a crate here? that might have something in it, but I... Oh, what are you... Okay, you had to go up there in order to get it. What in the... Wait a minute. What do you mean, too drunk? <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> we found the cobalt. Hey, come on up. What are you doing? I'm going to... I'm checking to see if Asterion can unlock this door. I got a key. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. By the way, the weapon is the artifact. That's what they're looking for, Your right? curiosity is getting the better <laughs> of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. Oh. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Okay, so my guardian is warning me against uh, going uh, talking to the Githyanki. Yeah. I think we're going to have um, to do it anyways, aren't we? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Can you, can you cast knock if you know knock on this door? I have a key. I mean, you could try to open the door if you want. Well, I, I was sure. going to. I have no idea. If we've we've got we've got a uh, we got a little area over here that's got a bunch of wine and uh, some drunk cobalts. You, you're not interested. Oh, we can. <laughs> yeah, we totally can. I can't loot them. I can only uh, kill them. Apparently. Okay. Thank you. They've got basically a dagger. Done. Uh, 
all of the kobolds appear to be drunk. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's one that's wobbly over there. Actually, there's a couple of them. They're all they're all kind of uh, three sheets to the wind. Some are drunk. Some are dancing. <laughs> I just heard glug 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 glug. Did you hear glug 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 glug? I did. That kobold moves. Okay, uh, that was probably a mistake on my part. I thought that it'd be they would. Okay, they they all woke up. Red. <laughs> Got a problem. That's no, okay. And they're armed with carrots and wine. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think that they are going to have the problem. Well, I, I'm kind of inclined to agree. Uh, I, hold on one sec. I need to get the Starion into battle here so that we have a good... He has a good initiative because he's not in battle right now. Okay. There's not much I can do. I'm going to just get it back over here. Oh. Yeah, you might want to get out of there. I'm just going to step back. I can't... I already used my attack, so... Are any of these guys ranged? You know what? I'm not going to no worry idea. about it. I have, I have new, improved, uh, dexterous uh, stuff happening. So, I'm good. Oh! Um, Lizelle's not in the fight. Is she not in the fight? I don't think she is. Seem that way. Well, she is. She's up there, up at the top. She's uh, on the right. She's next to oh, Zar. She... I think I've got. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they're not very good, are they? No, yeah, they're they're. They're kind of fodder. All right, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit one. Oh, okay. You you can hit one. I'll 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 go maybe hit another one. Oh, I did. No, I didn't do that. That was you. Oh, I thought we hit at the same time. Okay, that one's got. No, I was gonna I was gonna do a, a sweep attack. I was gonna do a sweeping attack and hit both. Oh, Very you you can do that. I can't do that. I don't think. Um, I think you can. I think it's a weapon skill. Oh. You get. How do you do it? Um, it's if you look at the top row of your of your their thing there, your uh, Please, hot bar. Rush. It, I think it's last the ring. one. I think it's called cleave. Cleave. Swing your weapon in a large arc. Oh, t up to three enemies at a time at once. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that. Now it does do reduced damage, right? Four to eight. Yeah. I think so. I think it is reduced. All right, I'm getting. Up. I'm moving in. Okay. Uh, Angela, what are you gonna do? You could do maybe. You know what? You've had good luck, Angela, with Ray of Frost. Does any of these guys have a, a particularly high? Uh, I don't think so. This one right here has 17 hit points. Yeah. yeah, that didn't work as well as I was hoping. But... Oh, he's chilled! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, okay. So he has a uh, he had a firebomb. Fire boom. Oh, you're in. Yeah, you're in fire right now. I think you're standing in alcohol. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. But I don't think I can do anything about it, unfortunately. Lizelle, on the other hand. Uh, Lizelle can get up here. I'm going to try cleaving. 
<laughs> and I still have an attack. <laughs> can I do cleave twice? I don't think I can, can I? I think it's like, what, is it short rest? Oh, uh, yeah, I must take a short rest. Okay. I'm okay with that. All right, Angela, you get, you know what, Angela, uh, jump over here. Okay, there you go. Don't walk into any of the other things that have, or make you go boom. Um... But Therian's just been playing the assassin in the dark. Just popping up, killing someone, moving on. Okay, that one's down. Okay, all right. There's 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 one guy that's down here. And there's... Oh, did the other ones come in? I think they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the guys that I saw in the distance. All right, cool. Okay, Lizelle, what are you going to do? You're coming down here to join the, the, the party? Actually, you know what? Lizelle, how about you jump uh, over here? <laughs> oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, she can't get over there? Can she not get over there? And then uh, hit this guy. <laughs> there we go. There go. Slurpity slurp. I heard slurping. Something is slurping. Okay, you know what, Angela? Can you douse yourself? Is that a possibility? Okay, no, you, you're out. All right. Okay, so there's... They basically got... You know what? I'm going to take the drink. Because, uh... Try me. Uh, that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, I'm. I can't do anything. All right. You know what? Um, I'm gonna take a, a health potion. <laughs> Mysterian's like cannon fodder. Okay, Lizelle. Or unfortunately, bow fodder. Okay, okay. We're I think we're out. I think we've we've now got, uh, we're out of. So don't don't uh, the barrels are explosive. I was trying to loot a barrel here, right? and I accidentally. There's somebody gulping. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. I can't wait to see Hey bud, how you doing? <laughs> Actually I was gonna do I've got uh Lizelle here was gonna do something, but uh yeah, that's okay. So, uh, I'm pretty sure if you break that other barrel you'll probably be have another battle. Okay, there's another guy in this one here. I mean, it, it, this is rather amusing, right? Like, <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Surprise. It's, yeah, it's honestly a fun little, like, <laughs> a fun little mechanic. <laughs> the kobolds are just in the barrel drinking themselves to a stupor. And you can hear them as they go. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> this is right. This is actually quite amusing. All right. So, um, I'm done. So what? Okay. And then, uh. <laughs> Oh, you stabby stab! Oh, you got- I got a critical hit! You know what, Lizelle? This is your end. Thank you! <laughs> okay, there's another one go- Uh, doing something. I- by the way, I'm- I'm grabbing this wine because it's, uh, it's camp supplies. That works. I'm gonna send this stuff back to, uh... A camp. Um... Uh, 
in my backpack? Oh, I've got like good berry. I've got a bunch of stuff in here. Scroll of Revivify, another camp. I've got a camp supply sack in a camp supply sack. You know what? I'm not even sure what the, how to deal with that. Okay, now. You you got another one, didn't you? What's inside? Yeah, I killed one real quick. <laughs> is this the back way in to the crash? I get the feeling it, it is. is. I, it is. I don't know if there is, if you can go through the front. Oh, did you, did you, have you tried that key before? Um, I picked up the key, but I didn't mean to do that. Um, I did pick up the key, but I don't remember. Um, I'm going to try What it. do you call it? I'll try the key. I'm going to go back to the gate. I'm going to try the key. Oh, wait a minute. Am I encumbered? No. Within the artifact of feeling stirs. Oh. Uncertainty. The artifact is not happy about uh, this Your situation. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Okay, it's locked, so... Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. Okay. They'll my, stop at nothing. My to guardian take it from is you. like totally panicking. Anything of use? Yep. One day I'll catch a break. Should we be? I'm sending you a journal. Oh. I'm it's coming. written by Kobold, so it's going to probably be like about drinks, a, a, like a very intellectual, um, solid a piece of work. Uh, a treatise on on uh, something uh, deep and noble. <laughs> a collection of drawings, some cruder than others. Most of them feature kobolds of varying degrees of nakedness, some performing sexual activities on themselves, and some on others. Uh, the final pages, however, feature more varied subjects. A soaring red dragon, Githyanki of various ages, and surprising detailed depictions of wine bottles. <laughs> so basically, what kobolds love. <laughs> right? Oh, and there's a um, hmm? there's a fun little thing you can do um, if you can if you have enough alcohol, I, you can unlock an achievement. If you have enough alcohol to where you all of your camp supplies for a night is, is full alcohol, you can get a little achievement. Okay, we could we could try that. Um, let's see if we can get more alcohol then. Oh, this one's got one. And I've been sending a lot of a lot of it back to um, the camp. The, camp yeah okay so we we've, we've been both sending lots of alcohol back to camp yeah so if you, yeah, if you can get 40 um 40 camp supplies of alcohol then you, you, I, you i'm pretty sure you get achievement for that Ooh. i think we've gotten all the uh booze we can get out of here right probably maybe not this one at least in this room Well, each one of these is what? How much? Hang on a sec. How much is each one of these? Uh, oh, the bo uh, these are just three. Oh, these are just bottles. I could drop the bottles. Right. Um, if I go into sort by type and then we go into camp supplies. No, camp supplies. Come on. There we go. Oh. I can't. I can't go in my camp supplies. Okay, hang on a sec. If you double, if you double click it, it doesn't open for you. Oh, it does. Okay, each camp supply is, each one, each wine is four, so we only need ten. I'm pretty sure we got more than ten. <laughs> it may vary a little bit. So you, what you're saying is we could have a party. Yeah. So is, is it going to be like woo? Party time in the <laughs> in the camp. And <laughs> you want to? So I was going to propose that we stop I here. Post a bit for you. Yeah. We, if, if we go do a long rest, and then we we pick up next session. And we have a party before we before we end. Yeah, let's give it. Let's give a party. We, we need a long rest because I think you need. Your, I need um, spells, spells back. back. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I was going to actually actually su suggest this. All right, camping, long rest. Uh, basically, go to camp. All right, and here we are. Oh, this is another new spot. This is kind of cool. Yep. 
Huh? What? Yeah, another new new uh, new campsite. Yeah. Is there nobody wants to chat with us as far as I can tell? We're all good. Have you ever noticed that Will always has a glass of wine in his hand? He's a bit of a he likes his his mead. In, in, <laughs> Carlac, uh, of course, is, I mean, you know, she's like, she's pumped. She's having conversations with people in her head. She's got the, you know, Will has those giant horns coming out of his head. I mean, he probably could use a couple drinks. Yeah, he probably or could. Or a continuous drink. <laughs> all right. Bedtime? Yeah, let's, let's, hear, let's I rest. don't think there's anything. all alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to end the day? Yes. All right. Okay. And then does anybody want to talk? Didn't seem that way. Nope. All right. It's uh, party time. <laughs> party time. <laughs> uh, yes. I would like to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with um, this is. Oh, now itch. It, if bank is a wine, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Never mind. Now these are all frost kiss ale. It bank, it bank, it bank. Oh, that's six. Is there anything that has three? Try the very top, the top left corner. Oh, that? Wine. No, that's four. You know what? I'll take four. Yeah. We'll have spares. Yeah, All right. Are you, are you ready for party time? Let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Oh, oh. Yo, bottoms up. Long rest using only alcohol. A time-honored dwarven. <laughs> 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 oh, it's great. We're totally, we're totally like drunk. <laughs> Look at we're us. Hung over. Nobody else is though. Oh, wait a minute. Asterian <laughs> is. Um, Hi highlight over. Highlight hang uh, hangover real quick before it goes away. Oh. Uh, hangover. On the left side there. Okay. Uh, six turns remaining. You have disadvantage on dexterity and charisma checks. You tell yourself, I'm never drinking again. You're a liar. <laughs> I love that chance. That's great. I, I didn't catch that until this time. Four turns <laughs> remaining. So basically, it won't last forever. But did you notice that no. Asterion is impacted? Uh, Karlak, and they isn't. Will, he's fine. Yeah. Everybody start party members. Oh. Well, where's where's um? Wait a minute. Where is the cell? Oh, she's down here. Oh, it's gone. Okay, never mind. Well, we'll have to do that again sometime because that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, so we are now at. Uh, let's take a look at the map. So we're at basically this is. Uh, well, we're at the um, monastery, right? And this is the camp, but it's so it's not actually t showing us anything yeah. here. But we are currently at the monastery. We're about to go and see. So, so the thing is, like, the guardian is really telling me not to go see the Githyanki crash. Yep. But but you're saying, well, we really should anyways, because it's part of, it's Lizelle's quest line, right? Yeah, and it makes sense because, to be honest, like, if you don't go to the crash, it doesn't explain part of the story, which I think is, is important. Okay. Okay. So, and yeah, the Guardian's unhappy about it, but you'll find out why, which I think is kind of cool. Well, because of the artifact. Oh, it's not because of the yeah, artifact. Well, there's, no, more in, in than, way, there's more to there's, it than that. There is. There's there's a whole there's this backstory and, and all kind there's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Alright. That's fine. So we're not listening to the Guardian, we're going into the monastery. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Remember okay, so uh, earlier in the evening you and I were chatting with Niobe. Yep. Okay. So um and we were, we were basically, we told Niobe we're going to play BG3, right? 
And she goes, yeah. she goes, that, 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 she's like, that, that has meaning. She was trying to, like, BG, what, BG, BG3, that, what is that? That's, that is something, isn't it? And she wasn't referring to Battlestar Galactic. She, in other words, it rang a bell. I just realized what it is. Oh, I bet you. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> ah? Do you think it was Battlestar yeah. Galactica? We, sh we should actually find I mean, we, out. Yeah, we, we talked, uh, we did we did bring up Babylon 5. Yeah, we did. And, and she went, it. oh, but yeah, well, that's because uh, uh, Mr. Niobe is a big fan of uh, the, the, the guy that produced it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. So the, she knows all about Babylon 5. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> anyways, I just, I, I had a thought. That for some reason, I don't know why, but it popped into my head, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> I don't know wh how, where that came from. But anyways, yeah. So maybe we'll have to I ask her about that. <laughs> well, the, funny, the funny thing is, like, you thought of Battlestar Galactica, and then when uh, when you're saying next time, what immediately played in my head was next time on Dragon Ball Z. No, it was, um, <laughs> it was um, the original Battlestar Galactica. You know, I just I was saying like that's like the, you you reminded me of the announcer voice at the end yeah. of the Dragon Ball Z episode. No, I know, but that, I'm talking about the next. That was the original. The, uh, didn't they do that on Battlestar? The original Battlestar Galactica when it was on TV. Wait a minute. Did you watch the original it's Battlestar possible. Galactica on TV when it was first aired? No, I've seen some of the episodes, and I'm just a little bit. One of those. I'm, I'm just a little bit older than you, aren't I? Actually, not 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 by much. Not by much, but, but so like, yeah, Battlestar Galactica and Babylon Five. Those like, I want to watch them, like the originals. But I have it's it, it's it's almost like painful to watch in some cases, just because of the. No. Uh, the you have to look it, beyond it. You, and I will tell you right now, I will tell you right now, Battlestar Galactica. You'd watch for its kitschy kind of. Uh, old school, campy science fictiony stuff, right? Because you gotta, you gotta just embrace, you gotta embrace the uh, the old old style uh, television sci-fi like uh, Buck Rogers, and you just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta go into it and go, I'm gonna enjoy this, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool because it's like, yeah. you know, th that's just, you know, like original Star Trek type thing. So, mm -hmm. but I will tell you. The character development in Battlestar, uh, not Battlestar, in uh, in Babylon Five, is really good. The main characters were all dynamite. They were absolutely golden. Right, yeah, and Rondo. I'm, I'm like, uh, what's that? Oh, I'm, I'm, and I'm not just. I'm not like saying that's not right. Uh, uh, the, yeah. The hard thing for me is like, and, and here's the thing: like, I can play old games. I can watch old nostalgic things. I, I can I can appreciate like something for what it is. Yeah. Um, but I have a hard time sitting through Babylon Five episodes. The, the beginning. I'm talking like like the, I watched the first three and was struggling to keep moving forward. And it's it's not because of story. It's because of like the really bad some of the, the set bad work. Set work. Some yeah. of the ad, yeah, set work. Uh, I won't say bad acting, but um, mm -hmm. it's. You you have to Early you have television to, acting yeah no it it the the characters really do uh, they do become very good all of them well, right. and I remember watching some of the old uh, I'm sorry some of the, some of the I say old but some of the newer episodes of Babylon Five I've seen like, like as yeah. you know, when they came out yeah. I remember like the shadows and things like that that yep. pop up later yeah yep yeah. so. I just got to sit down and, and, and watch it. I highly recommend it. You got to look past the, the, the really bad uh, CGI. Uh, it wasn't very good because, it, I mean, it was the time, right? Like, yeah, it's not like it's it the time. And, yeah. No, and, th and those those effects were super expensive. They you, were. You know, at that time. They were. It's not like today where we could probably make... Much it's all done on Blender. With just our PC. <laughs> it's all done on Blender <laughs> or yeah. Maya or whatever. Anyways, um, there you go. So I think this is a good place to wrap up. So thanks, thank you, Dread, for uh, for this little jaunt. And we're going to go into Moonrise. Uh, is it Mo not Moonrise? It's um, the monastery. We're going to go into yeah, we'll the continue. monastery. Continue to push through the monastery. Find where the actual entrance to the crash is, and then push through that. Oh, oh, it's on the other side of the mon monastery. 
Well, they, there's so the crash is in the monastery. There's an access point in the monastery to it. Yeah. Um, we just haven't. We we just have to find it. Okay, sounds good. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye bye. Thank you, Dread. Say goodbye. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Classic. Good night. <laughs>